Hello everybody, welcome back to another rare mini boss spawn guide here on Borderlands 3. This is the series where I take you through each of the rare mini bosses in the game and tell you a little bit about them, where to find them, how to get them to spawn, exactly what legendaries, uniques, etc. they drop and any other information you might need to know about them as well. So we are back today, we're going to be looking at Borman Yates who is located in Meridian Outskirts. So I hope you guys enjoy the guide, I'll tell you everything you need to know about this guy and uh, yeah, let's get on with the guide. So we'll start off by actually getting to the guy himself. So to do this you can fast travel to the main fast travel point in the Meridian Outskirts. This is located in the Promethea world. So, once you fast travel in, you can run straight forward from Fort Piss Off, which is a great name for a place. Uh, and then if you turn to the left hand side, you can see there's an elevator right here. You can ride up the elevator and then run along this floating Cult of the Vault camp. It's a bandit camp and uh, he will be located near the end of that area. So if you run in, like I said, take the elevator up and then you'll need to fight your way through a wave of enemies. You don't have to do this, you can just run straight to him and he will appear, but it's probably best to clear this area first, which I will do right now. There is quite a lot of uh, enemies here. So to fight him, you will probably uh, find that it'll be much easier, especially to see what drops, etc. if there are no enemies around. He will not spawn until you cross this bridge that I am right in front of right now. So as soon as you uh, cross it to the end of it, he will then appear. So everybody's clear. When you get here, there you go. He will appear right there. And all you've got to do is kill him and take his loot and hopefully get yourself a legendary from it. This guy is a uh, pretty mental guy. He will run around a lot and he will swing a knife at you. He'll throw knives, etc. And uh, yeah, all you've got to do is kill him and hopefully uh, get something good. He will spawn every single time now. He used to um, spawn randomly, but all these rare enemies will spawn pretty much every single time. So let's talk about loot then. We'll do this in reverse order of my favourites. Um, this is the actual Easter egg of this Borman Yates character. It's called the Psycho Stabber. Uh, the red text will uh, actually be referenced to Norman Bates, who is uh, the actual uh, Easter egg of this whole area. It shoots nice and it is a really good melee weapon with a fixed melee blade. It's a Court of the Vault pistol. This has always dropped from him um, before the actual reassigning of loot patch that came out. Next he will drop the saw bar as well which is uh, the legendary Court of the Vault assault rifle. Uh, not a bad weapon at all. This is a returning legendary from previous Borderlands games. That is the weapon itself. Pretty good uh, assault rifle actually. Quite high firing. I'll show you it firing right now. There you go. That is exactly what it looks like when it fires. And then finally to probably my favourite weapon that he just dropped. We're going to go to this one right here it is called the Cutsman it's a legendary SMG uh, it fires uh, like an orb shaped projectile which then turns into a, a horizontal laser beam this will come in uh, three different elements as well fire corrosive and shock so it's definitely worth getting these this thing is an absolute killer so uh, yeah there you go that is the loot he will drop the three legendaries the psycho stabber the saw bar and the Cutsman. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about this guy, apart from a bit of trivia on him. Like I said, he is called Borman Nate, and he is uh, its a bit of a play on words of Norman Bates, who is the uh, character from the 1959 novel Psycho. It was then made into a film. Quite a lot of people have probably seen Psycho. It's one of the classic films of all time, and this is a big Easter egg into the whole thing. And like I said, it's not just the character himself that references Psycho, it's also that Psycho Stabber um, weapon as well that he drops, all to do with that character. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. That was another Rare Mini Boss Spawn Guide. That was a Borman Yates in the Meridian Outskirts. Really hope you're enjoying these guides so far. Plenty more to come. I will cover every single one of them. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.